Canva just launched their new update. Now with Canva, we can actually go ahead and code. It's just going to be like Cloud Artifacts or Gemini Canvas where we can actually interact with our code and see the preview as well. It's going to keep the versions as well and we can use this in the design. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I created these different apps using Canva code as well as I'll be sharing my personal opinions on the significance of this new revolution by Canva in the Vibe coding community. So with that said, let's get started with the video. Hi and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is Ho Shamrez and we're here at Canva. Com. And in the Canva dashboard, you have to navigate to Canva AI right over here to use the new Canva code. Before they used to have this design for me and creating image as well as drafting a doc. But with the Canva code update, now we have code for me feature right here. And once you click on this, you can actually give it a natural language prompt and it can start building code for you. And before diving into the projects that we're going to be building today in this video, I'm going to be showing you one project that I tried out earlier with Canva and it looks something like this. So I actually created a solar system explorer game which would look something like this. So this is the sun. I didn't give it a realistic image to actually replace this sun part here. And we have some orbital mechanics here, how to actually zoom in or shift the pane as well as how we can increase the simulation speed. You can see the increase in orbital rotation and you can click on the planets to know more about the planet, its diameter, mass, orbital period and much more. And all of this was generated within one prompt, which is right over here. So that was just one demo to show you guys how powerful this new Canva code is. So with that said, let's actually dive into the projects that we're going to be building today using Canva code. So for the first project, we're going to be creating a flashcard game for vocabulary learning. And I'm just going to hit enter and don't worry, I will be pasting in the prompt in the description. So you don't need to worry about the prompts. And as you can see, this is pretty fast as it is generating the code for you. Let's wait for the results. So there you go. We have the output right here. So there you go we have our flashcard game right here so the first card is about a spanish greeting and we can learn more spanish greetings with flashcards so we're going to have a total of five flashcards per round so the first flashcard says hola and i know what it means so i'm just going to go ahead and say i know this then buenos dias yes i know what this means buenas tardes yes good afternoon buenas noches good night and como estas it means i think how are you? And that's it. Great job. I can start over. And if I don't know anything, I can go ahead and say I'm still learning. And it goes to the next one. Now for starters, we only have five flashcards in it. And we can keep iterating over it. As you can see, we just have version one right here. And we can actually iterate on this, create a new version of it and increase the scope of the Spanish vocabulary. So this is a really cool project, I would say. Now I'm going to go ahead with my next project. And this project is going to be a memory matching game where you can have some cards that are flipped over and you will have to memorize them and match similar cards. So let's go and hit enter and check out the results. And the part that I really like about Canva is actually when we create these projects, we can add them in our design. So I can just click on use in design and it will add the front end or the graphics of the app inside your design where you can interact with it or create an infographic about your game or whatever app you're creating. So there you go, we have the results out and the game name is Team Connect where we can click on any card and we can click on another card. So I have to actually match two different cards here. So I can see this one is actually the card that I clicked earlier on. So yes, it was a correct match. And as soon as I match something correctly, it gives me a discussion question of what emoji best describes your morning routine. So this way you can actually play this game in a team and generate discussion questions for conversation, which is really a great idea to connect with your team members. This way you can enhance your collaborative synergy in the team. Okay, that was another amazing project created using Canva code, but let's go ahead and create one more here. So this time I'm going to go ahead and create a solo quiz app with three quick driver questions a day. So let's go ahead and hit enter. While this is being generated, let's talk about how Canva code is going to impact the Vibe coding community. So Canva, as you all know, is a product design company, but now they have this Vibe coding capabilities with it, which gives it an edge over cursor or other vibe coding tools as you can actually interact with the designs inside Canva and use these designs for coding or the other way around you can code a design and import that inside Canva to interact with it. Also the fun part is I did not pay a single penny to use Canva code which means 
it is completely free for now i don't know about the future but for now you can use it for free and it's going to generate really really hefty projects for you as this one project was around a thousand lines of code which is really mind-blowing now you must be wondering how do we actually download the code because we don't have a code tab here for that you will have to go here and click on this create doc and it will create this document right here which you can actually download so this document contains the prompt as well as the code for the prompt and you can actually play with this document as well and then share it or download it and to be quite honest i like this document part because this provides us more flexibility to interact with the code also keeping in the chat history as well like the prompts here and with that said our solo quiz app is already created so we have some settings option here where we can add question categories so history science pop culture and logic and i can increase the difficulty here so i'm gonna go ahead with hard one here and we can track streaks and sound effects as well so save settings and start the quiz so the first question goes like which ancient wonder was located in alexandria so of course it's gonna be the alexandria lighthouse okay this was the correct answer let's go with the next question if you have 10 apples and give three to your friend then get five more how many do you have so the answer is going to be 12 here okay as for the last question which admitted film features a character named baymax i'm not actually sure about this but let's go with big hero 6 so we did actually pass all the tests here let's go and see the results so our score is 3 by 3 and we have a daily fun fact here and i can play another round tomorrow as well we also have this stats feature right here i really like this so this is how easy to create these mini projects or mini apps using canva code now i created this solar system explorer game where you can actually interact with these planets and also have a simulation of their orbital rotation as well as get to know some key details about these planets like earth moon and mars we can actually interact with this game as well we can increase the simulation speed and much more then we created this interactive flashcard game where we can enhance our vocabulary of course for me it's going to be spanish but you can learn any language you want it can be french or even english then we created this team connect game which is like a matching game but with the twist where you can have a discussion question and actually increase the collaborative synergy of your team and at the end we created this daily brain boost app where you can test your journal knowledge and iq using this amazing application that we created within literally two minutes using canva code so with that said i want to wrap this video up i hope this video was helpful and if you found this video insightful hit the like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video till then stay curious and keep exploring